Most of you have heard about cows having four stomachs. In reality, cattle have one stomach divided into four compartments, the rumen, the reticulum, the omasum, and the abomasum. I'm sure I messed those up a little bit, but you'll live with it. They are the key to a cow's ability to eat forages that we cannot. As the feed journeys through the digestive system of a cow, each compartment plays its own role. Like a factory worker on an assembly line, it, the compartments turn raw, fibrous plant material into usable energy for cows. Before those mouthfuls of food reach the stomach, they must first be chewed. Cattle are first class masticators, munching for roughly eight hours a day. When a cow eats, it snatches up as much food as possible in the shortest amount of time. In the wild, this would limit the amount of time that a cow exposed itself to predators in the wide open pasture or meadow. They swallow food and it enters the rumen and the reticulum, the first two stomach compartments on the cow's assembly, or rather disassembly line. The partially chewed food sits in these chambers which act as storing vats. When finished eating, the cow will regurgitate the feed from the rumen and chew it all over again. This is called chewing cud, which this little girl is doing right now. The rumen not only stores but ferments the food. It provides the perfect environment for bacteria to break down feed and feed off of it, converting it into, into sugar. The cow is left with fat produced by the bacteria which provides most of the cow's energy needs. Its reticulum helps sort out which food still needs to be chewed and broken down again, and which is ready for the next step. <clears throat> After fermentation, the food travels to the omasum for the next step or next stop in the disassembly line. This sponge-like compartment sucks out water, salt, and minerals and returns them to the rumen recycling materials to help maintain the proper environment for the bacteria to live there. The final step for the remaining food is to enter the abomasum, also called the true stomach. It mirrors our own, liberally dousing its contents with acid. The abomasum turns as, it, as its muscular lining squeezes and relaxes. Now thoroughly mashed and smashed and per practically pureed, the feed seeds the last of its precious sugar, while little, what little remains of the food can now be passed along to the intestines and out of the stomach's domain. The finished product, rich packets of energy housed in protein, sugar, and fat, is free for the cow to use at its leisure. This energy hides inside the bonds of molecules ready to be liberated when the cow cracks open, say, a protein molecule. Some is stored in the body for later use. In this way, cows provide an invaluable service as an ambassador between plant and animal. Ruminants are among the few in the animal kingdom with the power to transform grasses and other refuges into a form of energy we can all use. So basically, they're superheroes turning grasses and forages into delicious milk that we convert into dairy products.